we want to graph the linear equation given in slope-intercept form. We're given y equals negative two-thirds x minus four. So for review, slope-intercept form is the form y equals mx plus b, where the coefficient of x, m, is the slope of the line, which is also the constant rate of change of y with respect to x, which equals the change of y divided by the change of x. And for graphing, this is often referred to as rise over run. And then the constant term b equals the y-intercept of the line, which means the line contains the point zero comma b on the y-axis. So again, looking at our linear equation, we have y equals negative two-thirds x minus four. Because we have a minus four here on the end, the constant term b is negative four. So if b equals negative four, the y-intercept is negative four, which means the line contains the point zero comma negative four. And now the coefficient of x is negative two-thirds, which means the slope m equals negative two-thirds. When writing the slope for graphing purposes, we want the negative in the numerator or the denominator, but not both. So let's write the fraction negative two-thirds as negative two over three, or negative two divided by three. And again, this is equal to the change of y with respect to x, or delta y, or the change of y, divided by delta x, or the change of x. From here, because the numerator represents the change of y, which is negative two, for graphing purposes, once we plot the y-intercept, we would go down two units, again, because the numerator is negative two, and because the denominator represents the change of x, which is positive three, we would go right three units. Now let's try to graph our line. We'll first plot the y-intercept, which is negative four, which would be this point here on the y-axis. And now using the slope in the given form, we would go down two units and right three units. This is why the slope is often referred to as rise over run. But notice how if we go down two and right three, we're off the given coordinate plane. Which doesn't mean we can't graph this line. It just means we'll have to change the form of our slope to find our second point. So instead of using the slope in the form negative two over three, remember this fraction bar means division, so this means negative two divided by three. We could write the slope in the form of positive two divided by negative three. Notice in both cases the quotient would be negative. So these two fractions are equivalent, just in a different form. But notice how in this form, the change of y is positive two, and the change of x is negative three. So because the change of y is now positive two, we would go up two units. And because the change of x is now negative three, instead of going right three, we'd go left three units. So writing the slope in this form will give us a different point on the line than when using the slope in this form. So using the slope of two over negative three, from our y-intercept, we would go up two units and then left three units. Which means this point would be a point on our line. And now we can graph our line, which would look like this. Notice how as x increases, y decreases, or the line is going downhill from left to right, verifying we have a negative slope. More specifically, if we start with the leftmost point here, and we go down two units, and write three units. Again, this does verify we have a slope of negative two-thirds. So sometimes when graphing a line in slope-intercept form on a given coordinate plane, we do have to write the slope in our different form in order to find our second point. I hope you found this helpful.